Hi, and welcome to Storytime with Missouri Botanical Garden. I'm John Lawler. Today, I wanted to tell you about a cool new book from MBG Press, Herbaria. Herbaria, a guide for young people by Kelly Lafarge. This book explores one of my favorite topics, herbaria. Herbaria are collections of dried pressed plant specimens that are just as useful to botanists as the real thing. Outside of their native range, it's a lot easier to take care of them and they can be preserved for a lot longer. In this book, you can learn about how herbarium got started and the history of famous early collectors like Emily Dickinson. Emily Dickinson loved nature and gardened with her mother. Her collections notebook contained over 400 pressed plants and inspired a number of her poems. You can learn a lot about some other famous collectors too. Today, herbariums are used by all sorts of people. Medical researchers, teachers, artists, ecologists, farmers, even law enforcement investigations. So how do you collect plant specimens? Well, this book will walk you through it step by step, from creating your own field journal to all the places in the world where plants are collected. Preserving these specimens is hard work. Most of the time, samples of the plant that show off its features go into a plant press where they are dried and pressed flat for several days. Once they arrive at the herbarium, they go through another round of heated drying and cold storage to help preserve them and kill any lingering pests. At the herbarium, botanists make sure that the specimen is properly identified by its genus and species name. Then it's tagged and cataloged along with all of the information about how it was collected. Flattened samples are mounted so that they can be handled, with smaller pieces stuck in a special envelope for researchers looking at microscopic sized features. There may even be extra tools attached to give a better sense of size and color for photographs. Other samples like seeds, flowers, or fruit may be too big or impossible to flatten. They are stored in separate cabinets. When we store samples in herbaria, we don't know what potential use science might find for it. Will it improve a farmer's crop or turn out to be a species we thought extinct? Maybe a scientist will find medicine in it. There's no shortage of possible uses. So now that we know about herbaria, where do we find them? Well, it turns out right here in Missouri at the Botanical Garden, we have a herbarium with over 7 million specimens. And we collaborate with herbaria all over the world to work out an even better picture of all the plants that are out there. Thanks for joining me. I really enjoyed this book. If you want to get a copy for yourself, you can check out the links below. We'll see you next time on Storytime. <laughs>